In this tutorial, we will discuss personnel groups. Personnel groups are created in the personnel browser. The personnel browser is an explorer window that consists of all the cardholders' names and card numbers as well as the personnel groups. The personnel browser can be opened from the standard toolbar. Personnel groups allow you to organize cardholders into logical groups and assign default access levels to that group. As cardholders are added to the group, they are automatically granted access to the group's default access levels. To create a personnel group, we will right-click on the All Cardholder item. From the Context menu, we will select the Add New Group item. Once the Group Properties window opens, a group name will be entered to identify the group. It is always a good idea to provide a descriptive name. The Modify Access Level button allows us to associate individual legacy access levels as well as access level groups. Red folder icons identify global access level groups and the blue folder icons identify legacy access level groups. Also note that the legacy access level address includes the controller number that they are associated with. For more information on access levels, please view the access level video or consult the DNA Fusion user manual. From here, we will select the access level groups and or individual access levels. This is accomplished by selecting the assigned column next to the desired access level. The space bar can be used to easily select consecutive access levels. The search box provides a way to narrow down the access level list and results can also be limited to a specific controller as well as assigned and unassigned levels. Click the OK button to add the selected access levels to the personnel group. Once a group has been established, you can apply changes in access to the group rather than to multiple individuals. When cardholders are added to the group, they will automatically be granted the access the group's default access levels provide. We can click the OK button to save the personnel group. Let's go ahead and add a cardholder so that we can assign them to the personnel group we just created. There are many ways to add a cardholder, but for this example, we will double-click the All Cardholders header. Once the cardholder record opens, we will see that there are three main personnel tabs, Employee Info, Employee Info Page 2, and the Card tab. You will also notice an ID Badging tab since my workstation is set up as a badging station to capture photos and print badges. We will enter the cardholder's information in the desired fields. You may want to check the Add Cardholder video or the DNA Fusion User's Manual for more information on cardholders. The New Card tab is where the card number is entered, along with the assigning of access levels. We will enter the card number in the Credential field. In order to save the record, we will right-click in the record and select the Update option. With the creation of a personnel group, DNA will prompt us to add the cardholder to a personnel group so we will go ahead and click the Yes button to select the group. The Select Group window appears and we can select the desired personnel group from the list. We will click the OK button to add the cardholder to the personnel group. Since the personnel group has a default access level associated with it, we are asked to confirm the assignment of the access level to the card. Clicking the Yes button assigns the access levels to the card. I have added a custom update button to my toolbar for convenience. This produces the same effect as right clicking in the cardholder record and selecting the update option. We will go ahead and close the cardholder's record. To view the cardholders assigned to a personnel group, we will click the plus sign next to the personnel group header. We can see that the newly added cardholder appears in the teacher access personnel group. Clicking the plus sign next to the cardholder reveals their card. We can simply hover over the card to view the access levels assigned to it. If we hover over the personnel group, we can see the access levels that have been associated with the personnel group. If we needed to edit the access associated with the personnel group, we can double click on the group to open the properties. When the personnel group opens, we can click the Modify Levels button to add or remove access levels from the personnel group. Green check next to the access level or access level group indicates that the level is already associated with the personnel group. 
To remove an access level from the personnel group, simply click the check icon next to the level and the icon will change to a red minus sign. If we needed to add an access level, it is the same process as when we created the personnel group. Check the assigned column next to the desired level. We will click the OK button to save the changes we made. Since we made changes to an existing personnel group, DNA prompts us to apply the new access configuration to the existing group members. We will click the Yes button to apply the changes to the group members. A confirmation dialog appears, confirming the number of members updated. Cards can also be added to groups by selecting existing cardholders from the All Cardholders header. Multiple cardholders may be assigned to a group by holding down the Shift or Control keys when selecting the cardholders. Once the cardholders have been selected, right-click on the cardholder and select the Add Users to Group item from the menu. The Select Group window appears and we can select the desired personnel group from the list. Click the OK button to add the cardholders to the selected personnel group. Since the personnel group has a default access level associated with it, we are asked to confirm the assignment of the access levels to the cards. Clicking the Yes button assigns the access levels to the cards and adds the cardholders to the selected personnel group. Keep in mind that cardholders can reside in multiple personnel groups. In this tutorial, we looked at the personnel group feature and how it can be used to not only group cardholders into logical groups, but also allow the assignment of a default access level to the group so that all the members have the same access. Thank you for your time. We hope you found this tutorial helpful.